Media Seekers, I'm Nick at CES, EK and MSI announced a brand new collab. So you know how this one's gonna go. It's gonna be water cooled. We're checking out the MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo EKX. This is a DDI5 only board. It's got a few nifty little things up its sleeve in relation to the water block. So stick around, we're gonna take a little bit of a look at it. But just remember ladies and gents with our motherboard content, these videos are not reviews. Take me out to dinner, baby. As mentioned with our motherboard content, these videos are not reviews. They're just overviews so we can take a bit of a look at all the stuff on the board and what physically comes in the box with a board like this. Now, in comparison to other EKX boards that we've seen in the past, this comes with less, but there's a reason for it. We're gonna talk about all of that. So let's dive right in. All right, ladies and gents, here it is. The MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo EKX. Let's get that motherboard out of the box. So we can take a bit of a closer look at everything else that comes with this motherboard in the box. And in comparison to other EKX boards, there's actually less in here. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. First off, we've got some SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rush drives. Next up, we've got the back plate for the monoblock, which basically allows you to attach this to your motherboard, otherwise you can't do it. There's also some thermal paste and the bolts and screws and everything you need to get this monoblock installed on your motherboard here. There's also a set of thermal pads for the VRM cooling. This actually attaches to the monoblock and touches the heatsink that's pre-installed, which I'm gonna talk about as well. There's also a bunch of documentation. There's like some coupons and all the regular stuff that you find with MSI boards. This may or may not interest you, but you know, it's up to you. There's also some of those new M.2 clips that allow you to close the M.2 slots without using screws. Very, very handy. More motherboards need to do this. And the fabled MSI sticker, guys, the one that gives you all of the extra FPS that doesn't actually really do that at all, but you know, some people believe it. It doesn't do anything. The quick installation guide. Now this is pretty handy. This shows you how to socket these new LGA 1700 CPUs in the new LGA 1700 socket. Pretty handy guide and shows you how to apply thermal paste as well. There's a USB stick for all the drivers and everything you need to get up and running with this board. Look guys, no disc. This is how it should be in 2022. There's also the user guide. Now the user guide is pretty handy. Helps you figure out what everything is on the board, where everything is on the board and how to configure some simple BIOS settings as well. And here's the mono block. Now this is almost like the other LGA 1700 mono blocks that we've seen from EK since the release of 12th gen. It's got a couple things up its sleeve that makes it a little bit different. If we flip it over, you can see the cold plate that actually makes contact with the CPU, but I'm gonna show you guys this more in detail a little bit later on in the video. So let's unsheath the board and take a little bit of a closer look at the MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo EKX. There's the front panel audio header, there's two three pin five volt addressable RGB headers, no 12 volt RGB here. Two PWM fan headers. There's a Thunderbolt header, which will require an add-in card. There's also another PWM fan connector, two USB 2.0 headers, four SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rush drives, the front panel connector for all your lights and all your switches, and another PWM fan connector. Hidden underneath that heatsink is two more SATA or SATA ports. There's also a USB Type-C front panel connector, a USB 3.2 header, the 24 pin power connector to send juice to your brand new board, a postcode diagnostic LED array for helping you diagnose your board, and another PWM fan connector. On the top right hand side of the board, we've got a four pin 12 volt RGB header, another three pin addressable RGB header, and two more PWM fan connectors. On the top left hand side of the board, there's two EPS power connectors to send juice to your brand new 12th gen CPU. For PCIe slots, the top slot is a PCIe Gen 5 by 16 slot 
There's also a by one slot. Then there's a there's two by 16 size slots, which are both PCIe 3.0 by four slots. The motherboard features Intel's Z690 chipset, which you can see here. It's under that big old heatsink, and it is passively cooled. As far as the VRM layout on this board, it features a 16 plus one plus one phase digital VRM setup with 70 amp power stages. You can see here that the heat sinks actually have flat sections on them to make contact with that monoblock so you don't need to pull heat sinks off at all. Let's open up that LGA 1700 socket so we can take a bit of a look at what makes this socket new and different. If you've never seen one before, if not, feel free to skip this part of the video but here it is, the LGA 1700 socket with about 1800 contact pins, let's be honest. All right, let's flip the board over so we can take a bit of a look at the board on the back. It's got labels for keep out zones and all that kind of jazz. Nothing too exciting going on back here. In terms of RAM slots, it's got four DDR5 RAM slots, which supports up to 128 gigs of DDR5 memory, overclocked up to 6400 mega transfers. All right, let's take the heat sinks off the M.2 slot so we can take a little bit of a close look at everything that's going on here. There's four M.2 slots in total, three of which are PCIe Gen 4x4, and there's actually one PCIe Gen 3 slot as well for the M.2s. For re-IO, we've got DisplayPort, we've got HDMI, a BIOS flashback button, some USB 2.0 ports, some USB 3.2 ports, USB Type-C, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, 7.1 digital surround sound, and an integrated IO cover. But let's take a little bit of a look at the monoblock that comes with this board from MSI and EK and what makes it slightly different to other monoblocks you've probably seen. If we flip the monoblock over, you'll notice that it's got the contact plate for the IHS of the CPU. However, there's no contact plates at all for the VRM heatsinks because the way this works is, now I'm gonna explain this, you'll notice that the heat sinks for the VRM cooling are flat. So basically what you wanna do here is you put the thermal pads that are supplied on these heat sinks on the board, right? Then you would lower that monoblock onto the board itself. And then if we take a little bit of a closer look, the bottom of the monoblock makes contact with those heat sinks to efficiently cool the VRM. So this is a nice little way to do it. And I think other motherboard manufacturers should adopt something like this as well. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this first look and overview of the MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo EKX. This is a pretty interesting way that EK and MSI decided to do these monoblock boards because traditionally they use a lot more thermal pads. They have special contacts on the monoblock themselves for all that VRM contact to cool the VRM. But on this one in particular, all they've done really is they've used these stock heat sinks on the board and they've made them flat. So you can use this board without the monoblock. So if you wanted to put any other cooler on it, you could. The bonus is you get the water block. With Obviously you're gonna be paying more for this board because it includes a monoblock as well. But this is a pretty elegant way to do it. I would love to see other motherboard manufacturers get on board and do this with these boards considering a lot of the coolers, even regular AIOs and air coolers with these Z690 boards are tricky to fit. And having these heat sinks nice and flat actually makes it easier 
to not only put the monoblock on, but to put any other cooler on this board. But obviously, if you're buying the EKX version, you're gonna be custom water cooling your system. There's no other reason why you would buy this. It just doesn't make sense. Speaking of making sense, let's chat about the price. If you're interested in this board from MSI and EK, you're looking at spending anywhere between 399 US dollars or 399 euro or around 636 Aussie dollars at the time of filming this video. However, this board isn't out yet. I think it only comes out towards the end of February, but because the torpedo already exists in its current form, basically the main difference here is this one comes with the monoblock. Now, the other thing I wanted to add is I think this is a great way to have a lower barrier of entry for having a custom water-cooled motherboard as well, because traditionally for custom water-cooled projects with monoblocks, you have to remove the VRM heat sinks yourself. If you buy a board that doesn't come with a monoblock, that is, so any other board that you put a monoblock on, you have to remove all the heat sinks, you have to do all of that. And for people who are starting out and they wanna give water cooling a go, this is a great place to start. So good on MSI and EK for doing this. This is a great way to get your hands dirty. Yeah, I think that's basically all I got to say about the Z690 Torpedo EKX. And let us know what you guys think about making water cooling easier to get into and a lower difficulty threshold for water cooling as well. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you saw here and hit that subscribe button to see more motherboard overviews that we're co coming for you all of the time, basically, from your friendly neighborhood gear seekers. Yep, and if you like the music, hit that join button, grab it down there, or head on over to Patreon or Floatplane and all those other things that YouTube is telling you to do. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying, dude? Okay, now I've got my hat on. I look like I'm in, what's that band, Devo? Is that what it is? Yeah, Devo. Devo? We gotta whip it good. <laughs> yeah, we got a build coming with this motherboard. Kinda soon. Lucky that um, these things are very, very tough and it didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Claire's face is dead. <laughs> oh, can I just say as well? I've been listening to a lot of Wu-Tang. <laughs> a lot, a lot of Wu-Tang lately. Like, probably too much Wu-Tang. And, yeah, I've been working on some new music, so stay tuned for that. I'm, yep, it's, yeah, yep. yep. I'm not gonna say much more, but yeah. Everything around me, Craig get the money, dollar dollar bill, yo. I'm quick, you said it. You need a miracle remote control flow with the float when it's ahead of me. The one shot camera captures the glamorous, believing you're the best bit, makes a shot hazardous.